In recruiting, there are purple squirrels, and then there are silent squirrels. In cleared recruiting, sometimes you have to get creative in reaching out to these ultra-discreet candidates. I'm Todd Reichardt, and this is Clearance Jobs TV. You've found the perfect candidate, you've connected with them online, and you're ready to move forward. Making the first move can be the hardest step, especially for an anonymous or passive candidate. Cleared candidates are discreet, and you'll need to pick your methods carefully. First, see what you're sending. If you're not aware of how your messages appear to a candidate, send a test to yourself. Be sure all correspondence includes clear contact information and a direct link to your company's website. Make sure hyperlinks work if they're included. Next, show who you are before you ask candidates to reveal their details. Make sure your social recruiting profiles are complete, including cover photo, profile photo, and information about current openings. If that anonymous job seeker screens you, make sure they see a person worth responding to. Be comprehensive, but brief in your message, and give the job seeker a reason to respond, even if they're not interested. Passive candidates are only looking for exceptional opportunities. Acknowledge that in your message and ask the candidate to let you know if they'd be open to future opportunities, even if they're not excited about what you have to offer today. Finally, be complimentary and specific. If a passive job seeker reads a message they know could have been sent to anyone, they're likely to ignore it. But if you comment on a candidate's specific workplace preferences or a recent conference for their industry held in a nearby city, you'll get noticed. Discreet is good. Being ignored is not. Personalize your approach and soon anonymous and passive candidates will be contacting you.